guys, welcome back. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee uh, salmon fly this evening. Now, this is just one of my own wee patterns. So I'm just going to show you how to put it together. The hook in the vise is a Partridge Patriot double in size 10. And the thread I'm going to use is the uni thread, 8 in black. So we're just going to come in and we will get the thread started. It's behind the eye of the hook. Just run on a couple of mil of thread and remove the waist tag. The tag in the rib is going to be uh, ultra wire and hot yellow. So we're going to catch that in underneath. And then we're just going to run the thread down until I'm sort of way in line with the, the points of the hooks. And then I'm going to come around with four or five turns of the ultra wire. And on the last turn bring it up and in between the hooks follow this around with your thread and then just keeping your wire in underneath just run it up the, the length of the body then we're going to fold it back just double it back on itself and work your thread back down tight up against the, the tag now, that's it there, that's your wire. I'll just zoom in a wee bit here to show you. That's your wire doubled up and underneath. That's going to make that really, really strong. Just palm back out again. Now the tail. You're looking some red bucktail. Now, just looking at a small amount. I'm not looking to go nuts with this. Just take a wee drop off. And then we'll just, just line it up the best you can in your hand. And again, it doesn't need to be perfect. You want some sort of taper on it. And then we're just going to offer this up to the hook. It's a broken end. Don't want that in. And you can have this as long or short as you like. That's up to you. So just take our hook tail. About a length and a half two lengths of the hook over the back. It's usually a, a nice proportionate size. Catch it in. Lift your bucktail. Trim away the axis. A bit of a tapered cut. And put in some flesh into the tail. This is just two strands of red crystal flesh. That I have here. I don't want them to just want them to be shorter on the tail, come around with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns, with the excess back, just to lock it in, come and trim away the excess. Now at this point I'm just going to take my thread on forward, just tying in the, the cut ends. Now you want to try and keep the body, if you can, just as smooth as you can. You don't want any lumps and bumps, just tie it in and bring your thread back down, just nice and tight. Just make sure that that bucktail's well lashed in. Just bring your thread down tight up against your tail. Now at this point you can use um, gold holographic. What I want to use is the uni mailer in silver and gold in size 10. So I'm just going to take a length of this off. the gold side so you want to tie it in on the opposite side so at this point I'm just tying this in with the, the silver side facing up and then just advance your thread forward just fairly cl close touch and turns it doesn't have to be exact right up just to tie in your tinsel then we'll come around with our tinsel just looking to get a, a nice straight turn if you can going at the back and then you're just looking overlapping turns of the gold tinsel to create your body. Follow this around with your thread, catch that in, come in and trim away the excess 
then you can bring up your up your rib and you're looking roughly four turns of the hot yellow wire up the body to protect the tinsel. Follow this around. I just like to get nice tight turns in to the wire. So that's what's holding the, the whole fly together and you can bend them right away. I should say if you want to put on some super glue there on the thread before you bring up the tinsel that will work for you as well. I right. just want to get this tail sitting nice. The wing, just some red fox. Right. We pinch off here. Just trying to get the, this is a wee fly for myself, just trying to get my, my salmon box in the order. Now, you want the your wing, well I do, I want my wing coming, right, well, sort of way, halfway into the tail or so. Just come in and pinch that on top. Come in with a pinching loop. Just take another couple of tight turns. Now, at this point, not even set in stone, just have a wee check. Just to see what way our wing's sitting. It's a sparse wee fly this. Then I want to come in and just collect the, the axis and trim that away. Now, I'm just going to bring the thread down over the cut ends. On the way back up I'm going to put some flesh into the wing and this is the the red crinkle flesh. Now, I know some boys don't or some anglers don't like uh, flesh in their flies so if you want to tie the wee fly and you don't like flesh just leave it out. So we're just going to get two strands off here. Or one strand and then I'll just double it back. So I'm just going to offer this up into the wing. Just take a couple of turns now. We're coming back up the way, don't forget at this point. And just get the other strand. Just bring it on over to your side. And then I'm just going to come in and trim that roughly to the same length. And again, it doesn't have to be exact. The fly is going to swim in the water anyway. Now, the throat. I'm going to put on some a uh, red hen hackle fibers just for the throat. Now, if you wish, you can uh, just wind a, a red hen hackle on. Now, I'm just looking a good hackle here, so just bear with me. So I'll just strip away some of the rubbish. Then what I want to do is just hold it by the tip bring the fibers out from the stem and then just take the amount of fibers that you want to see in the throat. So I've taken a good four pinches there and then just offer this up. Now I don't want it too long, I just want it sort of way the tips of the hackle sort of way coming back to the tag then pinch and loop up the way do a couple of turns, then we can spin it round, see what way we're sitting. Right, happy enough for that, so I'm just going to come in and collect the excess, trim that away, then we'll just bring our thread down just over the cut ends of the hand hangle and back up. Now right, at this point I'm going to put on some jungle cap, but if you don't have it, or you don't like it, don't put it on. So, that's the wee cape there, so we're down here, I've used all these as you can see. So I just want two small eyes for this wee pattern, not looking anything too elaborate. Got two wee eyes there. I'm just getting them lined up in my hand. And then what I do is just hold the eyes and just come in and just clear a space. Offer these up to the hook to the length that you like. Just come in and just hold them on the sides. Take a couple of loose turns just to see what way we're just to see what way we're sitting. 
either they're to the same length. So just just always double check that they're to the same length. Then I'm just going to tighten up a couple of turns coming down towards the eye. Then just come in and fold back your axis and just tidy up your head here at the same time. Just nice and tight with the thread turns, keeping your thread tight. You can come in and break away the stems to let your thread go at this point. Just keep it tight, just want to get the, the whip finishing tool. And then just come in and throw in a, just a nice tight whip finish. Pull your thread nice and tight. Come in, trim away your tenon thread. Now that's all done. Like a, I like wee sparse patterns to have in my box like this at times. Now, just going to come in, we drop a super glue first onto the head. Don't want this running into your wing or into your hand haggle at your throat. So just take your time. Just remember there's no rush, guys. Just take your time. And there you go. Now, there's nothing to it. Gold body. Red tail, red wing, red throat. Now, when I face that, that's a size 10, so if I'm facing that, just if you're curious, I would face that, I'll face that on the point, and then one of the wee sunburst ones that I posted up last night, a size 12, I would face it um, tied on a size 12, I would face it on the on the dropper, and then vice versa, I'll tie, have a size 12 of this. And then the size 10 for the, the sunburst. Anyway, there you go. It's a good wee pattern. I've had some nice fish on that wee fly over the years. Um, you can't go red, especially if you're fishing rivers in the foil system. The likes of the, the Owen Clue and the Derg. Um, and maybe a few rivers in Donegal. Red's a good good colour to have in your box. So look guys, tie a few of those up. Like I say, just sitting here tonight, so just decided to follow that one, and hopefully, then catch a few fish. As always, please stay safe, and until next time, tight lines.